Hey guys, it's Grace of the Year, Bagging Guru. So welcome back to my channel. Cheers! And I'm wearing lipstick today. Um, and it is the ColourPop. Um, yeah, the ColourPop uh, it's Ultra Blotted Lip. It is in the color Bit O Sunny. You can't really see. I can't make this phone focus because I still don't know how to do it. But it's kind of like on on here it looks like a um a bright a bright red like orange red but it looks really cute um it goes on really like creamy and then it dries out matte so yeah it's not giving me the shine that I like but I like it because it stays on for a good minute see if I do this doesn't really come off at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's that. So I wanted to do this um, video really quick because I was going through a lot of my old stuff because I'm still unpacking from a year ago that I moved into this house. And I found like my main TV collection, which I kind of wanted to go through with, like, through it with you guys. It's dusty. Get some uh, makeup wipes really quick. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go through it. Um, I'm, like, the tapping music, a lot of people ask me what tapping music I listen to. And I have, look how dirty that is. I listen to, like, a variety of types of music. Um... I would mostly fall into what category is that? Um, I guess like alternative rock, uh, like goth. I don't know. Um, a lot of people think, oh, because of how I dress and how I did my makeup before and how I have my hair and stuff, they think that I, I just love listening to like rockabilly and like psychobilly music. Um, yeah, I don't find that like wrong like it's not wrong I do listen to that type of music but it's not something that it's like a go-to for me so yeah so I'm just gonna get right to it really quick I have these tapes which I'm so happy this one's called garage days that's what I titled it oh my god <laughs> look the, okay I okay this what what tape was this uh, let's see Tommy Combs band do not know who the hell that is but that's the regular tape but back then obviously in the 90s um what i would do is obviously what everybody would do is get like a piece of paper or like you you would cover these with like tape or something in your little tape recorder and then you would you can use this as a um a like a, a blank tape but really it's not a blank tape you know what i'm gonna have to listen to this on camera with you guys. Well, maybe not directly on camera because I don't know what's going to be on here. Um, this is, what does this say? Two, okay, this was back in 2008. This is dated 2008. February 26, 2008. Miss, or Miss Around Party in My House. I don't know. Um, so this is a regular, uh, blank tape. That I didn't do that too because obviously it's just yeah, it's Sony. But um I'm actually kinda excited to I'm gonna have to find my tape recorder. Okay, so we put this right here really quick. Oh my sink. Okay, so the first couple okay, so this I have three whoa. And I have not listened to these in a long time. Oh my god, it's like stuck together. These are stuck together. Okay. So, obviously, you see Horror Pops here. It's the How Yeah. Then you have the uh, Kiss, Kiss, Kill, Kill. Same person, uh, Horror Pops. The same band. And then we have Horror Pops Bring It On, which is kind of like dirty up here. Oh my god, like I wanna to listen to this now. I wanna to listen to everything. So 
Horror Pops is a sack of, a sack of Billy Bad. Um, I actually have her signature, which her name is Patricia. I do have her tattoo, her band logo here, which is this one. Where, where did I get it? There, I got it. I don't know what album it was. I got it. I think it's maybe this one. Oh my god! Okay, okay, I'm gonna go to that one right now. I'm so sorry. Okay, so anyways, so the picture I got it from was um, in this album, in the um, Hell Yeah album. So I got that here. You can't really see it because I don't want to move the camera. It says Horror Pops. And then down here, right there, is Patricia's signature. Right after I got that autographed, um, we seen her in the Montclair Mall at Hot Topic there. She signed it. I got it tattooed. And then I, I remember emailing her or writing in her fan site or something. I forgot. I think it was her, at that time, MySpace. And, um, yeah, I, uh... I sent her the, the picture of me getting it tattooed. Um, but yeah, so, and why I'm so happy is because I have, I thought I lost this CD. It's a band called 10 Years, and this is the Autumn Effect um, CD. I am so happy. I'm going to have to find, oh, I need a CD player. I need to find, I need to buy a radio with a CD player. Um, but yeah, this is so exciting. I thought I had lost this. It was one of my favorite bands. So there's that. <clears throat> and then I see four Tiger Army, um, Tiger Army DVD or DVD CDs. So this is well, the first one, I think. I don't know if it's in order. I totally forgot. But this is one of their albums. Um, this is the other one, which my dog chewed it all up on the corners. Then we have this one. And then this one, I'm just trying to make sure all my DVDs or CDs are in there. And we have this one. So I do have Tire Army <laughs> tattooed here. But this was a practice, um, can we see it? It was a practice, uh, tattoo. Can you see it? Mm. So this was like a practice tattoo. Can't, am I even showing you guys it? No, I'm not. You can't really see it. But anyways, um, so, can you see me? Okay. So this was a practice tattoo. And the guy that did it, he was, it was like his fourth time doing a, or, uh, practicing. And I was like, well, if you can do it, I'm not paying for it. So he did, but it's messed up. I can't really show you up close, but it's messed up. It doesn't, a lot of people who actually just glance at it is like, they recognize it. And they're like, oh, it's Tiger. I'm like, yeah, but I'm kind of like shy to show it. But I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to get it covered up anyways and get, um, get something else put there because the guy, he messed it up. He didn't even, he didn't do it right at all. So. But yeah, so that's that. And then I have four, is it four? Five. Okay, right now I see five Avenged Sevenfold um, DVDs. So we have this one here. We have this one. We have this one. We have this one. And then we have, whoa, why is this one falling out? Oh, it's not put together right. Then we have this one. Okay. So I, again, <laughs> have there logo tattooed. I'm like so confused right now. Hold on. I gotta see this. Oh no. Okay. It's not it. Okay. So this one's actually a better picture to show you. So this tattoo here, I have this as 
it's my tramp stamp. So it's my lower back, obviously, above my uh, butt, my tailbone. So I have that tattooed there. Um, and I have, let me see if I can find, I have another tattoo. It's in the side of my thigh. Um, let me see. I cannot find it. Okay. It's not in this album. What album is it on? Totally, totally forgot. It's not this one. Um, it's another, what? maybe it's in this one. Yeah, let me see. Let me see really quick. I was going to show. Uh, it's probably not in this one. But it's another Avenged Sevenfold. Ta it's tattooed on my uh, right upper thigh, obviously. Um, it's basically all of them. It's their skull with the bat wings. So that's that. I'm going to try to hurry up because we're already at 11 minutes. Okay. And then next I have um, Plum. I got this song for Need You Now. Yeah. So she, she sings a song called Need You Now. It's so pretty. I actually like the whole album. Oh my God. Look, there's another CD in here. From Autumn to Ashes. Oh my God. Okay. So I have that, which I'm going to have to look because that's one of my favorite, um, songs on here. Okay, so I have that, and no, I don't have anything of her tattoo. <laughs> okay, and this one, which one's this one? Avenged Sevenfold. This is another Avenged Sevenfold CD. Um, it's just, a, it says new. So I don't know which one this is. So that's that. And then I have Alex is on fire. Which I actually miss hearing them, so I'm probably I'm gonna have to make it a goal to go buy a CD player because I found these and I want to listen to everything. So, um, yeah, this is coming June 29th, 2004. God, this takes me back. I feel so old and big because I was skinny when I was listening to these bands. Okay. Then the next CD I have is, I'm going to have to open it now because there are probably other CDs in here. It's called Three Days of Grace. Oh, so you guys know that. So there's that. And then, okay. <laughs> so this is the OC Mix 5. Uh, it's an OC CD. I was a big fan of the show. Um, I believe I have almost all of their seasons except for the last one. This show I was really into. I watched it, was it Thursday nights? Yeah, every Thursday night at 8 o'clock. And I made sure I turned off my cell phone. I was like, I want no contact with the world. I locked myself in my room and I watched it. So here's that. And then this is a mixture CD. Um, it's Psycho Tina's Hell House of Horrors. So this is kind of like a goth. So, so far you've seen like alternative rock, um, like Jesus, I guess. Uh, what do you call it? Christian music? Uh, like punk or whatever, a sack of Billy. So this is like my goth CD. Okay. What's this one? It's another Alex is on fire CD. Oh my God. <laughs> and this is Paramore. Paramore. God, I gotta listen to this. It's another Paramore CD. I know I had more CDs too, but my garage caught fire years and years ago at, at a, the old house I lived in. And yeah. Um, who is this? Idol Weiss? I don't know, but this is a band, Idol Weiss. I don't remember this, but I do remember getting their autographs. Says, hey Gracie, thanks so much for being super awesome, Justin. And then some other dude signed it. 
They signed this one here, there, and then right there. So yeah, I do not remember. I'm gonna have to listen to this. I don't remember that. Okay, and then we have, of course, my chemical romance was a big fan. Hmm. What's this one? Oh no, are you kidding? Is there another CD here? It's so thick. Oh my god. Story of my life, the vines. I la 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 love this CD. And this dude, I went to high school with some guy and he looked exactly like him. And I made it my goal to try my best to make out with this dude. And I did because I felt like I was kissing him, so I had to. Oh my god, I was such a slut. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's that. And then we have, oh, of course, 30 Seconds to Mars. I love Jared Leto, especially in that show, My Soul Called Life. That's how I know who he was, because I watched some of that uh, in that show. That, yes. And then, oh, okay, I thought I watched this. Is it scratched? Nope, it's brand new. It's, um, it's Beethoven Moonlight. I used to listen to this. Oh, broke the CD case. I used to listen to this a lot before I went to bed. I just love this. And I got this at Target. At Target, they used to have like a little section in their DVD or they yeah, got their CD section uh, where they carried all their music and everything. There's like a little section where they carried like, um, like nature music and stuff. And that was in there. Oh my God. You're kidding me. Unwritten Law. Who remembers them? <laughs> I just love this. Wow. God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go shopping tomorrow for a radio. What is this? MCA hairspray. Oh, okay. So this is the hairspray. MCA hairspray. This is a, um, a hairspray DVD or CD of their, sound, their soundtrack. There you go. And of course, we have... No doubt. Who does not love her? I love her. And then, oh my god. Okay, so this was another band that I was really into. It's called the Raz Rasmus. This is, I remember the first day I seen this music video for one of the songs called Dead Letters. I seen it on... Was it The Fuse? I think it was a station called The Fuse on TV. And the first time I seen that video, I went straight to Target and uh, I bought the DVD or the CD and I just, I fell in love with it. And then, of course, we have Panic at the Disco. And yeah, so this is it. I know, like I said, I have other CDs in my car that I listen to, like Prince and, um, like Kill Switch Engage, uh, and a few other CDs that I don't remember having in my car. But, um, yeah, so this is my little collection. I'm gonna have to, like I said, make it my goal to buy a CD player because I wanna listen to everything. Oh my god, I'm so excited! But yeah, so this is it for this video. Um, Yes, okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Barking Guru family. Cheese. And yeah, so don't forget to um help me get my channel to 200 subscribers. And when that happens, I will be doing a giveaway. And um I have a lot of stuff. So uh in my next video, I'll probably show you guys what I'm gonna be giving away. If not, just when I get close to um, hitting 200, I'll show you guys what I'm putting in the giveaway. And yeah, so the only thing I'm going to ask you guys to do is to subscribe and like the video that I'm going to announce, uh, that I'm going to do the giveaway. So yeah, so let's like this video and share with your friends and family and let's get to 200. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.